Starting out day three, I'm going from uh, Fort Smith, Arkansas, across Arkansas, through Little Rock, uh, up to Memphis, Tennessee, and Mississippi, and then uh, on to Nashville, and up to the museum. So, I made a colossal mistake here in Fort Smith. I had not gassed up the night before, and that morning, um, I was so anxious to get to Bowling Green, I just got right on the freeway and started heading east. And I suddenly realized about five miles down the road <clears throat> that I had, I had an empty tank. I, I had to pull over for gas, so a uh, little bit of a slow start. Uh, but just a little bit east of uh, Fort Smith, I, I pulled over and got some gas. And uh, then I continued on my way and, well, get back up to the purpose of this video is the, is the high speed part. Now, the road, like I said, dips down to Little Rock uh, strictly because that's the way the highway system works. I mean, it connects one city to the next, but this had a dual purpose. It not only did that, but uh, it was helping me avoid a storm to the north. But the other thing I noticed is that you'll notice here as we go along, there are large sections where the GPS loses it and it doesn't follow the highway at all. Uh, got a little bit worse, there's uh, Little Rock, just passed through Little Rock. And I don't know whether it's the road is too twisty or turny or what it is, but there are segments, there's a rest area stop, sorry. But uh, continuing on, um, I, I don't really understand. It could have been the weather pattern that was just north of me. There was intensive tornadoes and thunder and lightning and stuff. So maybe that's why. There I go through uh, Memphis uh, on my way to Nashville now, Nashville, Tennessee. And uh, But there's large segments where the GPS just loses it, and I'm not on the, the red line is not on the highway at all. The gas stop. And uh, I, I'd sure like somebody that's knowledgeable about GPS to give me a good explanation, because my recorded mileage is 545 miles for the day. But I think it's actually longer than that because there's a good section of these twisty turny roads that I missed entirely on the GPS and I didn't go back and correct it because I'd sure like to know what the errors are of a large section lost there. Okay, pulling into Nashville and heading north up to or northeast up to Bowling Green and it's still missing large sections of the road but I don't care. I'm I'm going to the Corvette Mecca. I've stopped outside of Bowling Green, just south of Bowling Green, check out the prices on a couple of hotels, a little bit pricey for my blood. So I decided to continue on to the Super 8 that I knew up in Bowling Green, right near the factory. But uh, besides the museum, the other thing I wanted to do was I wanted to hit the track, and there it is in pink. And now red and this doesn't really fit with the high-speed tour uh, purpose of this uh, video but nonetheless I'm using the tour tools of Google Earth to uh, show you the track and uh, as I said I won't do this again because uh, all it is is some back and forth motion as I'm doing the laps around the track but, uh, yeah, following this, I went over to the museum for a while, talked to Shane for a bit. Uh, I didn't make it over to the factory. Uh, I, I pretty much done for the day, so went to get something to eat for dinner and went to the Super 8 and spent the night where I spent the night actually in the same room that I'd been in when I took delivery of Calypso. So there's the track. Did that. I have completed the... Uh, Corvette Museum Mecca, uh, and went to bed, end of day three, looking forward to day four.